Hi everybody, it's Barbie from Nell and Ruth Designs and I'm going to show you how I put my journals together. This is my Jojo um, Bizarre Adventure journal and um, I've been working on this all day. It does take me a little bit um, so I do mine, I might do mine a little bit differently than other gals. So I thought I'd share this with you before I do the final viewing. I'm sitting here picking. I have so much glue on my fingers and I've already washed them once. Um, like that. So I'd love to have you follow along. And if you're new to binding junk journals, there's so many really great videos out there you can watch. Um, I know uh, Liz over at Mrs. Cog's Crafts, she has a whole course that you can purchase and she goes through it with you step by step. That's what I did. I still do mine a little bit different than she does hers. Um, Gail Agostinelli, she has videos as to how she binds her journals. Everybody does it a little bit different, but you get the same outcome in the at the end. So this is my cover of my for the the journal, and I did not use a pasta box or a cereal box or any type of food box this time. I actually cut the um, my heavy cardboard to the size that I wanted. Um, so first of all, I want to show you, before we get to the actual cover, I want to show you, this is the raw um, book, and it's, it's all put together, the two signatures and the interior. And if you go back and you watch my very first um, series in this playlist for JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Journal, you're going to see, <clears throat> I think it's in the first video, um, you're going to see how I created this accordion binding to put everything together. So, and I'm not going to go through that today, but when you do an accordion binding, this is what you end up with. And the reason I do my bindings like this is so I do not have to sew through my, my end binding here. It's all tucked in here. It's all hidden. And that's, that's just the way I like to do it. I used to sew through them, but I prefer, the, prefer this way much better. And the reason that I do the accordion, now you can do it when you have signatures. The only difference would be is when you have your signature, and I'm just going to use an example. Um, let's see, what can I use here? Let me see. Well, let me use this little book. Okay, say this is a signature. You can actually put your signatures right in between, I'm going to call them camel humps. You can put them in between and then you can stitch, all right? You can find your center of your binding and then you can stitch down here. And the reason why I like this type of binding is when you open your pages, they all lay flat because these lay flat, okay? So you really don't have, like if you open your book, you don't have a, a bump or a, a hump or whatever. Everything lays flat. But the main reason why I did this binding for this journal is because of these pocket folders. And these are my pocket folders. And I have other videos on creating a pocket folder book. And I believe I explained the entire binding. But when you do a pocket page such as this, you end up with this being all open here. You can see this here. This is all closed and it's part of your pocket. So you take both sides of these right here and you adhere them to this outside here and then the inside. And this is what holds those that pocket together. So that's why I chose to create this sort of binding for the book. And then my signatures, I just score a line down the side 
and again this is shown in one of my other videos I just scored a line right down here and then what I did for this one is I used the um, my cinch and not my cinch is it my cinch let me show you I get so confused on this here my crop my crop a dial okay and all I did was I punched um, and I wanted to use these little whatever gussets brads it's not a brad it's a I don't know what you call them an eyelet okay but I wanted to use those in this journal um, to hold my my string all right so they are tucked inside there you can see them all right and they're secure in there so um, this journal pretty much will lay flat however whatever page I open to and that's just the way I like to do my my pages okay so I want to show you how I do my my cover um, now I know a lot of gals they will have their material laid out and they will trim the sides just like this and then they will fold it up but I really like to have my corners because this is for the inside I like to have my corners all tucked in so I basically do this as I was I would be wrapping a gift package and I do my corners first I tuck my corners in, then I have my my material laying on the side horizontally and vertically and then I just bring it in like a like a package okay and I think it gives a nice I don't have to worry about a raw edge here and trying to tuck it over really close and then the next thing that I do is I make my interior pockets for each side all right um, and then these are going to go and I always make a separate interior pocket and I will glue this down and then this one will go on this side all right but before I can put those down and then I have a pocket in each side of here and this is just material that I stitched and you can see I glued all of this down try to use this one I didn't use zigzag um, shears on but you can see when you use your zigzag you don't have any frays and strays hanging around um, but make sure that you get your all your material in your pocket on first before you go and adhere this down because once this is down it, it would be kind of hard for you to put a pocket on after the fact all right so that's how I do my two ends so I will show you here and this has to go on first um, I'm going to trim some of these little strings off the bottom so I don't get confused here it's been a it's been a trying day doing this only for the fact that um, I was sewing on my I was stitching here this I got stitched when I went to stitch this one down here I had forgot I had put some tacky tape on the bottom of this piece of cardboard and I bent my needle and it didn't work out real well so I had to change my needle I ran out of when I was making my pockets my bobbin ran out um, so it's just I'm kind of glad I didn't do this on film today um, for you because it just would have been not good for me um, so this here actually does you can see it goes all the way through but I put an extra layer a very thin piece of cardstock on here just as a little extra buffer so after you get your book your your outside cover all ready to go then you have to adhere this on to here all right and you just kind of have to I don't know if you can see but you just kind of have to line everything up and make sure 
that it's going to be all good to go. And I'm going to, I have to put a lot of glue on this to hold it. Um, let's see. I'm just going to get this new bottle of, I have a bigger bottle of three in one, and this is a new bottle. My other's here upside down, and I've been trying to finish those off today. Um, let me get this opened here. But I've just really been diligent. I just want to get this journal complete and then do a flip through because I need to start using it. Um, this journal here I'm going to use as my household journal keeping. Um, and what's been done, you know, receipts, like when they come to work on my furnace, um, I'll know when they were here last. I can make a note of what was wrong with it. Um, you know, when I have my, when they come to take care of my septic, um, if I have any repairs done, it's, I don't like going back and looking at old bills and trying to figure out when they came. So I figured if I did a, this is basically going to be a record keeping journal for my home. So I think it'll work out really well. I, I need, we're going to, we're in February and I've, I've got to get this done and get it used. All right. So I think what I'm going to do um, is I'm going to take a couple pieces of this. This is my Sook Wang. I'm going to take a couple pieces of this and I'm just going to put one here. And I'm going to put one here. And then I'm going to, I'll be putting the glue. And I'll put a little one here. I'll be putting glue all around it. But this will also help um, keep it keep it in place for just a little bit so I don't have to hold on to it. And every time I make a new journal, this is going to be my last one for the year. I have so many journals and I haven't, I haven't used a lot of them yet. Um, but there's so many other projects I really want to do. So, um, I always seem to do my journals differently each time when I bind them. They all work out really well. I try to do them the same, but sometimes it just, it just happens that, um, they're all a little, they're all a little different. So I'm going to turn this just so I can see my side here and where I want to go with this. So I have that side down like that. Bring this side over a little bit. And I want to look at my top and bottom, and I think that's all, I think that's all good. And because there is quite a bit of glue on this, I can kind of maneuver it and wheel it around how I want to. And I think that's good. And I'm just going to run my finger up the center here to try to get to that tape um, and that will just kind of help keep it in place as well. Okay, 
So the first thing I do is I get this part down here. I get this all attached on. And I don't care if a little bit of glue squirts out the top or bottom of this. I hope this is making sense to you. Um, and then, let's see, then it's all it's all good to go. Um, I'm going to have to let this dry. So what I'm going to do is this. I am going to make sure this is down. I'm going to glue this set part down here because we have to glue this next. So... I'm going to roll this on its side. And when you do your, when you create your journal, you're just going to have to play with it. And um, it took me a long time to make a journal because I was really scared to do all of this work here. I was afraid it wasn't going to come out. I wasn't sure how, <laughs> how to do it. And finally, one day I, I just had to bite the bullet and jump in and um, if it came out, it came out, and if not, I just have to start over again. Okay, let's see here. I have a little, mm -hmm, a little extra cloth here that I was stitching on earlier, so I'm just going to take that and just clean this up a little bit. Okay, and then I'm going to come over to this side, and I'm going to do the same thing here. And then I'm going to have to clamp this, and I'm going to have to let it sit, and then I'll come back, and we can work on, we can work on the inside. So I will get this clamped. I'm going to, I'll end up stepping away, um, letting this dry, and then we can come back to, now I don't know, I may end up having to use some paper clips because I don't know if this is gonna be long enough. So let me do this, let me grab my little giraffe. And I know some gals use these little things here, but again, I don't know if this will even reach. These are a little bit smaller ones. That will reach. Let's see. What did I do? Did I put the others away? Oh, no, right here. Let's see here. Sometimes when I do this as well, I feel like I'm all thumbs. I need a little bit bigger one for this side. All right, so we have that down. This one here. Let's see if I can do here. This one I may have to make do a do a paper clip here. And then like I said, I'm going to let this sit and I'm going to let this dry. And then I'm just going to kind of mold this because you can see from where I have those brads. There we go. 
they kind of it kind of overlapped a little bit, but that's okay. So I think on this one again, I'm going to use instead of those, I'm going to use paper clips. All right, so I will let this dry. And I'm going to go off and do some other things. And then um, I will be back and we will work on the inside and get the inside covers done, the inside here. And then um, we should be good to go. All right, I'll see everybody in a little bit. Okay, so I believe it's dry enough to put the, um, oh, pick this up here. To put the inside um, flaps covers on the inside so this is all down and adhered and ready to go so let's get these here um, placed on and then we will get this get these glued on and <clears throat> these buttons were fairly easy to put on um, I just poked a hole and let me show you because I don't want anybody to be detoured from using uh, covered buttons that have, you know, with, you know, you don't have to sew them. I use, I continue to use these little, I've done that throughout this book, these little tiny, um, the little holders that keep them on. So all you have to do is just make a little slip, push your button through, and then I don't know if you can see, see right there, I just have that popped in there. So there's no sewing, no muss, no fuss, and that's how you can use these buttons. So, and I've done that on all of them, like on this page here, I went and I actually attached two buttons together. Okay, so let's get the inside of this done. I just wanted to show you that little tip there. Um, we will get this on here. I have a button on this side, on the outside and then I have a button on the outside here so let's get these on here and again you're going to want to um, use your glue and just as a little extra I like to put just a little piece of tape it's just something I do you don't have to do this um, but like I said, it's just something I I like to do. And I just like to make sure I get my corners here. Get them done. And the other thing that I forgot to mention, um, on my front cover, I will show you, I like to put a piece of muslin on the back of the material. Um, the inside pockets, I don't worry about doing that. Um, because I have my pocket here. But underneath this is a piece of muslin. And let's just get this lined up here. This is gonna be kinda and I'm gonna get that here like this and then this is where I will use um, I'll definitely use my little sewing pieces here to keep especially these corners I want to keep these down I'm going to put quite a few of these 
on and around. I want to get these corners first though. I love the bright colors um, with all of this. It's just bright and cheery and this has been a really fun journal to make. All right, so I have that adhered. This side here, I can't do anything about that, the inside. And then we have this side here to put on. And this one will probably come a little bit closer to the edge, just so this has room to open and close. And After this, I'm going to take my girls out for a good play out in the snow. They've been, they've been on my bed all day long while I've been working on this. They've, and I didn't put my little piece of tape, did I? I don't really need it. It's just more of a a little security habit that I have. Try not to get my fingers. If you have a pocket, it's nice too. You can just hold the pocket here like this. And so we're going to put this right about here. And I don't want it to, I don't want it to get too involved with my with the little brackets here. That's down. And again, I'm going to, and you can make this, I don't have mine go right up to the top, but you can if you want to have your inside really meet up. Um, At the top here you can make it a little bit taller I just choose not to I don't know why I just never on all my books I do that I leave a little I leave a little edge here like I said everybody everybody does their books a little bit differently but in the end, they all, they all come out and look pretty. And I'm not shy about how many clips I use because I want that to, I want that to really adhere. So, all right, <clears throat> so there she's all set. Looks like she's at the beauty parlor, doesn't she, with all the clips on her? So there, we've got the, the book completed. It's nice and thick. Um, I'm not going to do, obviously, the flip through. Yeah, I just wanted to show you. 
the binding here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just let this set and rest overnight. And I'm not going to touch it. I'm going to let it do its thing. I'm going to let it go. I'm not going to even put anything heavy on it. If I wanted to, I would open it up like this and I could put a couple books or a brick. Um, I have a couple door stops I could put on here, which maybe I will do. Um, and then that way I'll know that they're, they're down really good. And then um, the next time I do a video on this book, it will be the final flip through. I've already cut my sari silk for the wrap. And um, yeah, we will do a final flip through and then I get to use this sweet little book. So, all right, everybody, um, until this dries, I will bid you adieu and I will see you at the flip through. All right, my friends, have a great day. Bye-bye.